Oh, thank you, thank you. You're all lovely. Um, <laughs> lovelier than other audiences. Our next game is called Chain Murder. Oh, murder most foul. It can be an ugly, ugly deed. Um, and what we've got is we've got Freddy, Lucy, Ryan, and Cy all involved in acting out a chain murder. But only one of them can stay. The three remaining ones must go on out onto our soundproof booth on Speedway. Boof. Soundproof <laughs> booth. We're using the age-old thespian's trick for determining who goes first. <laughs> now what's going to happen, once we get the all clear from out there, is that Ryan here will be in the know about a murder. He'll know where it happened. He'll know the occupation involved. Actually, no, where is... There are three unrelated things that Ryan's going to know. He's going to know a location. Not necessarily the location the murder happened. He's going to know an occupation. Uh, it could be any sort of occupation. I'll get these things from you in just a minute. And finally, he's going to have a murder weapon. And typically, it's not something that is a murder weapon. Typically, like this microphone is not normally a murder weapon, or a pillow. Uh, I'm going to get those things from you now, and then he's going to act it out for the first person we'll bring in off of Speedway. But he will not speak. He will only use gibberish. And the other person can only use gibberish. So the other person will observe him acting these things out. Now, when they think that they know what, for example, the location is, they're going to hit their notes and hopefully go ding, 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 ding. That's them telling us that they know and we can move along to the next thing. First location, then occupation, then weapon. When they finally get to weapon, they think they understand the weapon he's acting out and the gibberish that he's using, they will take weapon from him and stab him and it'll be horrible. Unless it's a pillow, you can't really stab someone with that, but you get the idea. The murder will occur. Then the next person will come in, see the second person acted out, and the third person, and then we'll get them all up on stage and we'll see how close they were to the actual details of the murder. Are you ready to determine those? Yes. Okay. I feel so-so about that explanation. First, I need a location. A clean room. Uh, the moon. A kayak on the Salt River. Uh, a sauna. A sauna. I'm going to go with a sauna. Right. Now we need an occupation. Tattoo artist. Toilet scrubber. Pilot. Elf. Yes. Dental hygiene. I like Christmas elf. The <laughs> seasonal. <laughs> Uh, and finally, a murder weapon that's not a murder weapon. Go ahead, a pirate tag leg. Bumblebee. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got moonshots. That, that's normally a weapon, though. We want something that you wouldn't even think of as a weapon. A bumblebee. Wait. A what? A bumblebee. A, 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 a macrame <laughs> plant holder. <laughs> a I'm a uh, I'm going to go with yours. Sound it out again so we can all hear it. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, where is the location? A sauna. A sauna. Separate from location. What's the profession you'll act out? I am acting out. A Christmas elf. A Christmas elf. <laughs> ah. And finally, uh, what is the horrendous weapon that will be your undoing? It will be a bumblebee. Indeed. <laughs> All right. Can we bring in the first victim? Yes, we can. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
players up here in reverse order. <laughs> So now we're going to poll them what they thought the location, the occupation, and the weapon were. Do you think they got it right? Do you think they could shoot? No. What did you think was the location? The sauna? Yeah. Whoa. And you robbed them of a chance to speak. What about the occupation? Composer? No. But I don't think any of us are surprised that she got that one wrong. Freddie, the occupation, not a composer. Okay, all right. <laughs> Any guesses? The darn folks? Santa Claus. Ooh. 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 Ryan, reveal the actual occupation if you would. A Christmas elf. I said Claus is very interactive. Okay, what about a bee? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, Thank you, and now back to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about a round of applause for our team, Bernie people?